Here we can see as a ray of light goes from a rare material into a dense material it changes direction. This is because as the ray goes into the dense material it slows down. So you can see here as it slows down only a bit of the ray is inside the block therefore it has to change direction. As it comes out of the block it speeds up again as it goes from dense material into the rare material. This again makes it change direction. The formula used in any calculations is N1, which is the refractive index in medium 1, sine theta 1, which is the angle of incidence, is equal to N2, the refractive index of medium 2, times sine theta 2, which is the angle of refraction. To carry out any calculations, the medium where the ray comes from is always called medium 1. The medium that it goes to is always called medium 2. We only deal with one plane surface at a time. So the ray of light is going from medium 1 into medium 2 at this point. Therefore this angle here is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2. If we're to concentrate on this area then the ray of light is starting in this medium then going into this medium. So therefore this is called medium 1, this is called medium 2. So therefore the incident angle is theta 1, the refracted angle is theta 2.